Welcome back to another episode of Dentistry's Growing with Grace podcast. Join Grace and her guest of the week as they discuss lessons learned in the industry and explore unique insights into ethical growth. Hello and welcome back to Dentistry's Growing with Grace. I'm here with Dr. Danny Snyder today talking about Slate Dental Company and what he's done that's really changing the oral health care at large, I think it's a big, big innovation. So um, Danny, Dr. Danny, thank you for being here with me today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah. So um, can you tell us a little bit about your background in dentistry and how it led you to develop the Slate Electric Flosser? Yeah. So I actually went into my undergrad thinking I wanted to be a physician and I took a seminar class that first semester and they brought in all these doctors, insurance companies, all walks of life in the medical field and quickly saw that that it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I always had a desire to kind of be my own boss, do my own thing. So the next semester I took the pre-dental seminar, um, got to shadow some dentists and I'm a big artist and woodworker. I love working with my hands and I really like that kind of medical field side of things, but could also see that I could be my own boss and kind of chart my own path. And so um, just quickly switched gears and, and moved into dentistry. So um, I went to dental school at the University of Louisville and have been out practicing now for about eight years. And um, my passion in dentistry really lies in prevention and education. I actually had a ton of terrible experiences as a child when I was going to the dentist. And uh, so my eight-year-old self would definitely be disgusted with my career choice, but <laughs> that really allows me, I think, to have empathy for my patients and really help them to help themselves to avoid the unpleasant types of dental visits. Absolutely. And so at what point did you kind of pivot from the general dental care focus of your career and go, oh, I'm going to invent something? <laughs> so it's actually kind of a funny story. So I use a Sonicare toothbrush and for years, um, my dentist, when I was in college, actually put me on to the reach flosser, which is about the length of a toothbrush, just a manual flosser. And that's what I always used. And so about five years ago, I was using my Sonicare and was looking down at my vanity and saw the flosser sitting there. And I was like, I wonder. So I actually picked them up and held them in my same hand and allowed the flosser to extend out of the toothbrush about an inch further. And then kind of allowed the vibration to translate into the flosser as I went around. And when I was done, my gums just felt way more vibrant than they have in many years. And so originally I was like, I just got to buy one of these. So I went online and looked to buy one that existed and it just wasn't out there. And so um, I have a brother-in-law who's a patent attorney, and he taught me how to kind of scour the government website to look for patents and things like that. And way back in like the 60s, there was an original idea. There's been some kind of little things, but none of them have come to market. And so I just kind of started plugging away. Like I said, I'm a big woodworker, so I have a shop in my garage, and I started cutting apart all these electric toothbrushes and flossers and kind of Frankensteining them together to make some rough uh, prototypes. And then it kind of got to the point where it's like, okay, I'm going to do something with this or I'm just going to forget about it. And so um, back in the end of 2019, I started searching for some engineering groups to help me actually bring it to bear. And so um, <laughs> the kind of scary part of this story was um, in February of 2020, I sent basically our life savings to this engineering group to kind of get the ball rolling on this. And then two weeks later, they shut down our dental office for COVID. And so it was just kind of like, oh, are we going to survive this financially? And, um, but it was actually kind of nice to have those two months where my office was shut down because it really allowed me a lot of headspace and time to actually work with the engineers and get the ball rolling on it. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind cool. of what came that's to cool. Sometimes God gives us time and we're like, what is this for? And then we got to figure out what to do with it. I've right. used the Slate Philosopher and I really enjoy it. I can't, you can definitely feel the difference in um, not just like the reach and how you get a very thorough clean, but I think there's something to the vibration that your gums really 
appreciate and really like. Um, what are some things people have told you or what are some stories you've heard from users of the Slay Electric Flosser? Actually, a fun one just from yesterday. Um, my sister-in-law, my wife's sister, has peg laterals. And so when she was 16, she did Invisalign and then did um, her dentist made her some veneers. And one of the veneers broke about a month ago. And so she had to go in and get some new veneers made. Just yesterday, she, she had that done at her dentist. And um, after they had prepped for the veneers and they were packing the cord around her gum tissue, her dentist was like, I've never seen healthier gums in my life. What are you doing? You know, and she's like, oh, well, my brother-in-law invented this electric flosser. And, and so she said, I've got to get my hands on one of those. So I'm actually our fulfillment center. So we have our basement office and warehouse. And so I was just uh, putting together a package to send to her dentist so that she could try it out. So that was kind of a fun one. Um, but the one that really, really stands out in my mind, um, we had a lady here in Spokane who had gone into her dentist recently and had four and five millimeter pockets, one isolated six millimeter pocket, and kind of had that, um, you know, that discussion with the dentist and the dentist said, you know, if this doesn't reverse in the next six months, we're going to be looking at doing um, SRPs, deep cleanings and um, all that. So she pretty shortly after saw an ad on Facebook for our flosser and bought one. And then uh, the next time she went into her dentist, um, she was all two and three millimeter pockets. And her dentist was like, what did you do? How did this happen in just a short period of time? So um, yeah, that was kind of a fun one as well. So that's awesome. So anyone who's listening, who either has patients on the brink of periodontal disease or they're on the brink of periodontal disease themselves. Um, this is definitely something worth trying. I would say it's a lot more cost effective than um, the treatment required to maintain more aggressive uh, levels of periodontal disease. I'd say don't use it as a replacement. If you're already in perio maintenance, you want to make sure you're keeping that disease at bay, but um, could definitely be a, a helpful addition to your, your care plan. Um, yeah. So how does the slate compare in terms of cost and convenience to traditional flossing methods or other options that are on the market? Yeah. So we actually sent out a survey to 3,500 of our customers to ask them, um, several questions about before and after behavior with flosser. And what we found was that 85% of people that flossed either zero to one times per week after using or after receiving the Slady Electric Flosser now um, floss uh, five to six times per week. And so it really is significantly more convenient than the string floss that you have to get out, cut the circulation off your fingers, stick your dirty hands in the farthest corners of your mouth. Um, and it's just so convenient. It's sitting there, standing up on its own on your countertop. You can just pick it up and do the full deal in about a minute's time. And that really, when I decided that we were going to actually pursue this and make it happen, um, the realization that I had from my years in dentistry is that maybe we can get most people to adopt one more thing other than their toothbrush, maybe. And so if we're going to get them to do one more thing, I want to pack as much punch into that product as I possibly can. And so, yes, the vibrations are amazing. Um, at first, we wondered whether the vibrations would actually cut into the gums and be aggressive. But what we find is that it actually just gently vibrates the gum tissue out of the way and finds those pockets on either side of the papilla. Um, but then, you know, proper flossing is pretty technique sensitive. You have to create the C shape. And most people, if you're lucky to get them to floss, are just popping it in and out and going around. And so um, what we did is kind of took the technique out of it by putting what we call the gum sweeps on either side of the floss strand. So um, those gum sweeps are perfectly shaped like the embrasure, the triangular space in between the teeth. And so as you gently work it from your tongue to your cheek, those gum sweeps reach into the pocket in between your teeth to massage the gums, hit the spot where cavities most likely form, and then also sweep along 
the CEJ where the gums and the tooth meet and just kind of sweep and pull out all the food, plaque, and bacteria that are hanging out in between the teeth. And then the last thing that we wanted to do, um, you know, most of the vibe, most of the bacteria that lives in our mouth hangs out on the surface of our tongue. And so tongue scraping is just, it would be another tool that someone would have to pick up. And so we're like, well, let's integrate that. So on the back side of the head, we've got a nice three-bladed tongue scraper that really does an effective job of vibrating and squeegeeing off all the plaque and bacteria that are hanging out on your tongue. So, um, and then selfishly, kind of the last thing that we decided to do, I've got five kids, all of them were in the years of coming towards braces. And so we developed another head that works for kids in braces. It has a thin arm that re reaches underneath the braces wire and um, vibrates the gum tissue. But then on either side of the floss head, it also has little bristles that as you're going in and out, also brush the sides of the brackets at the same time. So um, with my three daughters that are currently in braces, it's a game changer. I love that. I have I have two daughters that are going to be in braces, hopefully soon. I'm waiting for the time to be right. I keep taking them to the orthodontist and being like, what about now? What about now? What about now? <laughs> um, but I can't wait for them to have this option when when that time does come. Uh, I I think it it does create such a thorough clean and it is a different, it kind of feels like a massage for your gums. It's a nice feeling. It's, I, you don't have to work as hard or think about technique like you were saying. And I really like that. And it's funny how we met. So in one of my Facebook groups, I have a Facebook group called ask a dental expert and like the general population posts dental questions in there. And then dentists respond and give, you know, professional advice. It's, it's kind of a neat group. And I saw your post and I, I think I wrote like, normally I wouldn't allow this, but I really like the product. Like <laughs> I'm going to allow it. It's a solicitation, but like, it's a good one. So I'm really glad we met and um, excited for you. Um, what are your plans for the future of Slate? So um, we're really kind of keeping our head down and really working to promote this initial, promote this initial product. Um, but a couple things coming down the pipe, we have um, a rechargeable unit that's going to be coming out. Um, most people actually don't mind the two double A's in the product that we have right now. I have one that I've been using for about 14 months and haven't had to switch the batteries out yet. So it's nice to not have another charge cord. But for a lot of people, they do want that. And so we're making a rechargeable unit. Um, and then here pretty soon, we're actually coming out with a manual unit. I just got a prototype right here sent from the factory. Um, and that's really just going to get that price point down to where anyone could get it. Now, they won't have the vibrations to it, but it'll have the good floss, gum sweeps, tongue scraper, and, and all that stuff. And so if somebody needs to get into that lower price point, it'll be available to them. That's great. Anything to get people flossing is the goal. Like, as in the dental profession, that's just what we're looking for is like, let's get our patients flossing. So if we have some dentists listening or even patients, general population listening, where can they go to learn more about Slate? Yeah. So just go to our website, slateflosser.com, and there's a tab for professionals and um, an easy button to click to say, um, get started. And so you just click on that button, put in a little bit of information about you, and that will actually trigger a 50% off coupon that'll get sent to your email so that you can try it out for yourself. If you try it out and you love it and you want to promote it in your office, we'll then send you a few free units that you can have in your operatories to be able to demonstrate to patients. And you have two options. You can either um, purchase them wholesale from us and have them to sell in your office, or we can generate a coupon code that you can have some handouts that we'll create for you that you can hand to your patients and then um, as a QR code that they can easily go to the website and order one for themselves. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today, Dr. Snyder. I'm excited to see how Slate continues to grow and evolve. And to our audience, thanks for tuning in again. Another great episode, A Dentistry is Growing with Grace. You can find us on all major podcast platforms, on Facebook, Instagram, all the places. Um, and if you need help growing your practice or business development marketing, feel free to reach out to me at identitydental.com. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much.